Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the DL580 Gen 9 server. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on Rails. Let's get going. Hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the HP ProLiant DL580 Gen 9 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything that helps you in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, well, top 10, this video is dedicated to putting your server in the rack. So we're going to show you exactly how to rack your server. We're not doing cable management in this. It's just really more how to physically rack your server. So let's get into the fun stuff. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is we took the inside out because this is a heavy uh, machine. So realistically, we're still going to use two guys for this, but to make it as easy as possible and we don't break our backs here. I am getting a little bit older these days, so uh, no, no need to put a little extra stress on the old back, but uh, we're going to take this out. We're going to rack this part first, and then at the end, we're going to slide this back in. And that again, will just make it a little bit easier as far as just the overall weight. All right, so now we're gonna show you how to put on the rails. So the first thing's first, uh, right here, this is gonna say front left, so we're on the left side. We're gonna line this up in the front. Uh, we have Angel in the back, because it makes it a lot easier with two people. So Angel, let's go ahead and do number eight and nine. So there's points on the top and the bottom that essentially you're just gonna line up on the outside. So we are just going to line this up right here, and it just clicks right into place. So if I were to try and pull this right now, it is firmly locked in. Right, so if I wanted to remove the rail, which might be why you came to this video, we're just going to push this and make sure you push it with enough force that it'll pop out. And then now this is removed. So if, again, we want to line this up, the point right here and here, we're just going to line this up and click it right into place, and it is fully locked in. I could not remove it and the inners will now slide out. All right, so now we're gonna do the right rail. So right here it says front right, so we're gonna line this front part up on the right. So Angel again, we're gonna do eight and nine. So Angel's just gonna line up the points in the back. Once he's done, I will come and line the points up here and it'll just click right into place. It's very simple, very easy, and it's just locked right in. So again, if I wanna remove it, we're just gonna push this clip in, it'll pop right out and then again if you just want to put it back in you just line it back up and it clicks in it's very simple very easy and now it's completely locked in so what we're going to do now is show you the inners so the inners will just slide right out but again they lock into place too so if i pull the inners out these are now locked into place so how do i remove the inners back well right here there's a blue clip that you're going to want to push forward and this is gonna slide the whole thing back into place. So again, right here and here, there's two clips that you're just gonna push forward and it's just gonna slide back into place. And it's just those two blue clips in order to slide your inners back. So, all right, we're gonna pull the inners out. And now what we're actually gonna do is rack the server. All right, so you will notice that there are handles on the side and then there are rivets right here. So what we're gonna do is take the handles to make us have a little more control and we're gonna line the rivets up. So we're gonna start with the two in the back. Okay, my first one's in, yours in. All right, so from here, what I like to do is take one hand and kind of guide this down to make sure my rail's not sticking too far out. All right, so now that this is firmly in, you can see neither Angel or I are holding it. Uh, the rails are completely supporting the weight of it, and it's completely out of the rack, which shows you how strong and sturdy these rails are as a whole. Uh, make sure that you put your handles back into place. Um, but if you do want to remove it, which again might be why some of you guys are coming here, on the side right here in the middle, there's a blue clip. So the first two blue clips, there's the front and the back one that we showed you earlier to move the inners back and forth. Well, there's one in the middle. That one in the middle is going to help you to release this out of the rails themselves. So let's go ahead and push those uh, two ones, Angel. Okay, mine's released. Okay, so now that we've done that, this will just come straight up. And actually, I'm gonna go back and put my handles because it's heavy. <laughs> so now if we wanted to, we could physically lift this back up and take this out, which we're not gonna do since we're racking it. So we'll go ahead and put it back down. But I wanted to show you how to do it. And again, now that we've got those in, we're gonna go ahead and slide it back. So what we're gonna do here is the very front 
blue clip, we're just going to simply push it this direction and this will slide back the rack. So now it's firmly in there, it's locked into place, I can't pull it back out. So if I wanted to pull it back out, what you will do is you will pull these two down and you can now slide this out. Again, for the people who are trying to remove this, that is how you would do it. You would just pull these two down and that'll release it from the rack itself. So again, I'm just gonna lock it into place. And now I'm gonna put the front in. All right, so now we're gonna show you how to put this in. So we're just gonna slide this in. It is pretty heavy. You'll notice we do have this open. So we're just gonna slide this back and then just click this into place. And that's it, we've racked our DL580 Gen 9 server. Hey, do us a favor, if you made it this far, click that like, smash that subscribe. And if you're looking for any custom built, new or used HPE, Dell, Supermicro, Lenovo, Cisco, we'd love the opportunity to earn your data center or your home labs business. Please email us at sales at cloudninjas.com. Thanks for stopping by guys, take care.